So um, in this example, let's do number 16, 19. Let's do 16, 19. I think if we do 16, 19, you guys will have a good idea of what to do for these problems. So anyways, we have a standard distribution. For those of you that were not here last class period, that's what we talked about with standard distribution. Um, in this problem, they say that the mean is 50. The mean is right exactly in the middle. Okay. Now what we talked about um, last class, or that last problem we did, that was like a kind of histogram. And it was distri distribution, but it wasn't normal distribution. Um, it was a little bit off, but it kind of looked like similar to this curve. A normal distribution. What we have is we have a couple different devia standard deviations. So remember we, remember we learned how to find the standard deviation? So once we find that value, and if we add and subtract that from the mean, we get our first standard deviation. And I'll just label that as 1SD. So in this case, they say the standard deviation is 6. So if I add 6 and subtract 6, I get 44 and 56. That is the values of the boundaries of my first standard deviation, right? Now, what's nice about normal distribution is that they can distribute that our percentages of our data collected that fall in a normal distribution curve, the, the percentage of data that falls within the first standard deviation is 34% above the mean and 34% below the mean, which adds up to 68%. If we continue this pattern to find our second standard deviation, we're going to continue to subtract 6 and add 6. So we're just going to keep on adding and subtracting the standard deviation. And what we'll get is 38 and 62. That is our second standard deviation. The percentages for the second standard deviation is 13.5% and 13.5%. For those of you that weren't here, you could probably use this as kind of like a little model as far as your notes, because that's really all we talked about. We did this, and then we just kind of talked about it. Um, yes? Then we can do a third standard deviation. Um, that is 2.35% and 2.35%. So that's our third standard deviation. And basically, all we're doing is adding 6 again and subtracting 6. In this example, we'll have 32 and 66. OK, now remember, guys, this is an example of our standard distribution curve. You will need to know this for your test. You will not need to know this for your, um, for your quiz today. But these are for standard distribution. If you're saying, hey, standard distribution, these are your percentages. Yes. That would be 68. Thank you. Now, the problem with the standard distribution curve is it's really nice that when we have the mean, within the first standard distribution is 68%, 34 plus 34, right? Within the second distribution, it's going to be 68 plus 27, right? which is 95%. So that's saying 95% of your data. If you have data and it follows normal distribution, 95% of your data is within two standard deviations. If we go out to our third deviation, we had 2.35 plus 2.35, which is going to be 99.7% of our data. That's a lot of the data, right? That's only 0.3 we don't have accounted for. However, we don't have that 0.3 accounted for. So I'm going to put little spots in there saying these are unknowns. Okay, Don't assume that you know those values. So um, when, you're, uh, when we're computing like the percentages, we need to make sure we do this. And obviously, we could go out to the fourth standard distribution, the fifth, and the sixth. But there's still always going to be a smaller percentage that we do not know. Oh, okay. So that is how. Just so that's how we draw standard distribution 